Greetings uh, YouTube, this is Corendian199 here to uh, make another episode of uh, YouTube Let's Create with your host Corendian199. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the, uh, the tiny crane. Um, the tiny crane bears a passing resemblance to the paper crane which you can make through origami. There are some uh, tutorials on YouTube uh, by uh, other YouTubers uh, which I'll show you here. But the tiny one has a very big difference. Uh, most importantly is that it fits in frame with this camera shot, whereas this clearly does not, as you can see, the little tails, not really, there's no real way of getting that to f no. So, what you'll need for this is a sheet of tiny A4 paper, and you want to make a tiny square. You can buy these in shops, well, I assume you can buy these in shops, or you can make them yourself with a pair of scissors. So, let's start, shall we? First thing we need to do is fold on a diagonal. As you can see, makes a triangle. Very nice. Unfold. Now you want to fold it in half horizontally and vertically. You'll see why in a moment. So there you go. That's one fold. Now I'm working against the clock here. I might add because my camera doesn't have that much memory left. So let's hope I do this way. So now you should have fold diagonally, horizontally, vertically. Now you want to go along that diagonal, right? But as you do so, you want to push inwards and tuck along those fold lines, the edges in. You might not want to do this, you might have to give it a bit of violence, which is always good with origami. Then you'll have a tiny diamond. So now, you want this tiny diamond, you want to take the outside edge of it, and you want to fold it inward to the center line, from this outside corner, just like this. Well, I'm trying to do it badly. There you are. And you want to do this for every side, very important. So, four more, or three more. <laughs> there you go. And one more here. Not very neat my work today, but it doesn't matter, because tiny means the human eye can't tell. Now you'll have something a bit like this. So now you want to uh, take the very unfold now, what you've just done, again. Yeah, there's a lot of undoing here, but trust me, it works. Then you want to get the very first layer of paper, so it's just one sheet thick. And you want to pull the lip out, pull it hard, and as you pull it, you want to make sure that as the paper bends to your will, the little edges here, they pop the other way. And then it will make a diamond. And you want to just push that flat like that. That has a specific name in origami. Uh, I don't know what it is, nor do I care. But uh, you'll see why we're doing this in a moment. So there you are, you'll see that. And you'll do it on the other side. <sighs> now, some people may notice this is my first video in a while, or that's because I've been uh, very busy working. Uh, top secret projects for the government, that sort of thing. Well, not the government. Just being busy, really. <sighs> I'm sorry, I was back on topic. So then you have two diamonds. As you can see here, I'm just going to neaten them up a bit because they're a bit crap. Uh, I'm sorry, they're a bit, um, sorry, uh, a bit rubbish. So now you'll have a diamond, as you can see here. And the bottom part, you'll notice, it's got two wiggly legs and a solid bit at the top. So what you want to do now is put the wiggly legs down. And you want to, again, fold the edges either side inward to the center line. Oh, which is annoying, I know, but whatever. And this is a bit tricky with the tiny crane, but very gently, you shouldn't have a problem. So there you go, I've done two now, and you want to do it on both sides, so I'm just going to show you the work. As you can see, it's a bit like an arrowhead. Uh, if I have a history buff, like uh, my good friend Tepedster, uh, who's doing a series on YouTube called The Histories, which I'd recommend you try. I think he's on part 400 now. Uh, he will probably tell you where that came from and what it most looks like, but I'm a, a more of an engineering type, you know, hands-on, not an academic. So let's do the other two sides now. I'm getting distracted. Okay, and there we are. And one more. Oh, 
well, this one isn't very good. But, you know, I have some I've made earlier that I can show you if this doesn't work out. So now you have that. So now, what you need to do to find the centre line. So you've made your two sides with the folds. Now you want to go down the middle and you want to split it on both ends. And you want to pull both corners together, like so. So it makes an entirely new shape. Well, it doesn't, it just means we have another flat now. Like so. Should look a bit like that. And you want to pull these two bits up here as high as they'll go. Because this will make the wings. Hard to believe, I know, but this is going to work. So as you can see, that's one corner. I'll do the other. And now we're almost done. There's only one thing left to do. You want to fold it back into the position it was originally. So you need to find these corners here. But as you do that, as I've done, you want to pull these out because this is going to be the swans, to, uh, sorry, the crane's tiny tail on the other side. It would be its head. So now you'll see, if you look carefully, it looks a bit like a little crown. So all you need to do to finish off your tiny crane, pull the tail out a bit more because that's rubbish. No, this will be the tail actually. So you want to take the head now, which is this part here, and you just want to crimp it inward. Because, you know, that's the way it goes. So there's a head. Now you want to take these wings, you want to fold them down into a reasonable point, which is about there. See, it's got a little tiny body. And on the other side, you want to do the same. You want to make that tail a bit straighter. Then you pull the wings up. And he's got some legs at the bottom. Camera can't zoom in on. And you just want to pull those out a bit. So we can sit up. And there you have it. Um, there you have the sorry there you have as you can see the, uh, the tiny crane and that is how you make the tiny crane and uh, it's much more convenient you can see than the, the large crane with the full sheet of A4 paper this can be done with tiny scraps so if you're a prisoner if you're in prison uh, anything like that your quids in uh, really because you can just get going and if I've been told by a reliable friend if you make a thousand of these uh, full-size cranes you get a to make a wish so if you make about a hundred thousand of these by surface area you get to make a wish and you know win the lottery become a celebrity on YouTube get hundreds of thousands of views every day so uh, Thanks for watching my YouTube Let's Create or Let's Make with Karendi199. And uh, most of this one's talking here. We hope to see you again soon. Like, comment, I'm just going to put the thing down. Yeah, yeah.